Hello and welcome to Seven Sentinels. This is Grand Master of Class and I am Peter Simon with you. Today we are going to do a reading session, lecture. It's a workshop. Gestational diabetes mellitus. Yes. Reading lecture is a demonstration session for new batch students. We are going to give you tips, tricks, and techniques. So, so Vinita and Cable. Yes, Vinita is a regular student. Vinita, you have the choice now because you have come first. And uh, you can select A or B or C. Choice is yours, Vinita, Ramakrishna. A or B or C. Which part? Yes, B. Okay. Right, we are going for B. B is here. B is here. So, right. So, organize pages. Yes. Yes. This is our question number one. Yes, this is our question number one. Go to this question, 90 seconds.
30 seconds more. Yes. That's the question. Now, yeah, you can give the answer now. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and submit. Submit your answer, please. Yes, three answers. So now let us check your answer. Whether it is right or wrong. Yeah. A, B, C. Logical reasoning approach. Yes. So, you can check your answer. Yeah. There you go. Check your answer and update your support piece. Yeah. Yeah, update your scores, please. Okay, now I'll be giving you a chance to speak out. Vinita, do you wish to give the answer to this? Yeah. Yes, you have the time. Uh, okay, sir. PET scan supplement CT scans being able to discriminate between malignant and benign lesions. 
the question is not using pet scan could result in which of the following that means this misdiagnosis of lesion the other two is also help reduction in the tumor wall. we can eliminate therefore i got this okay right so Fine, that's good. Now, let me give you an idea here, a clear picture in shortcut. So, not using PET scan could result in which of the following? Not using PET scan is the cause and there is a result, cause and effect. So, not using PET scan, PET scans. So not using PET scans or you can say not using PET scans could result. So this is the cause or this is the reason and this is the result. What is the result? One out of the three. So the result is one out of the three. Which of this following? So one of these three is right. Okay. So now, if you see very clearly, yeah, um, right. PET scans supplement CT scans. PET scans supplement CT scans. Now, here you notice very clearly. What is supplementing what? What is supplementing what? For example, supplement means a substitute, alternative. You should know the meanings of these words. You should know the meanings of these words. Why are you supplementing PET scans in the place of CT scans? Because the former means the first one is supplementing CT scans because they are being able to discriminate between malignant and benign lesions. They identify metastasis in normal sized lymph nodes and exclude enlarged lymph nodes that do not have any uptake. So here, try to understand this very clearly. Why are you supplementing CT scans with PET scans because PET scans are able to do that thing which CT scan cannot do. Okay. If they are able to do, then why PET scans? No need. So try to understand that. So PET scans are being able to discriminate between malignant and benign lesions. That means the CT scans cannot discriminate between malignant and benign lesions. They cannot identify metastasis in normal lymph, normal sized lymph nodes. And they cannot exclude enlarged lymph nodes that do not have any uptake. So that's the point. These PET scans have advantage over the CT scans. They're more beneficial. Okay, what CT scans cannot do, PET scans can do. That's why the CT scans are supplemented by PET scans. Okay, so try to understand that one very clearly here. Therefore, PET scan, PET is a useful imaging modality to supplement, again supplement, the contours of gross tumor volume and clinical tumor volume as well as to determine the expansion needed for the planning target volume. So here, the advantage of PET scans. So PET scans are used to discriminate whether it is malignant or benign. Okay, that means the intensity of the lesion. So PET scan is useful to diagnose the intention intensity of the lesion 
you can say whether it is malignant or benign. So that's, you have to understand. If PET scan is not used, then you cannot differentiate between what is malignant and what is benign. Okay. So try to understand this very clearly. So if you cannot discriminate, that means you cannot discriminate, that means you cannot diagnose. Discriminating and saying that this is benign and this is malignant. When you use PET scans, you can say this is malignant and this is benign. But if you do not use PET scans, you cannot discriminate and say that this is malignant and this is benign. So, you cannot diagnose whether it is malignant or it is benign. That means it is misdiagnosed. There is a possibility of a misdiagnosis of a lesion. Uh, benign can be misdiagnosed as malignant. A malignant can be misdiagnosed as benign. That means you are not sure about it unless and until you use PET scans. So, discrimination means a differentiation that means you are diagnosing whether it is malignant or it is benign so this is a diagnosis when you do not use when you do not use when you use you can diagnose when you do not use you misdiagnose okay when you use you discriminate. That means you diagnose. When you do not use, you cannot diagnose. Yes. Yeah. So that's so clear. Okay. So clear. There it is asked negative. Here it is positive. That's all. Just add not, so miss. If you use, you discriminate. That means you diagnose. You show the difference between this and this. So this is it. You can diagnose it. Okay. You can discriminate. That means you can diagnose. If you cannot discriminate, that means you cannot diagnose. Very clear. So when you do not use, you misdiagnose. That's it. Could result means possible. Possible. Possibility. Could means possibility. Not must, but possible. Might. Which result? Could result. Possible. Okay. Possible. So, could means possibility. Yeah. Possibility of diagnosis. Okay. Maybe a mistake. Okay. Could. May or may not. Maybe right. Maybe wrong. Not sure. That's it. Possibility means that one. 50, 50 percent. Yes. So, that's the point. You have to identify this. It's so simple. If you can analyze properly, it is so easy. Now, so this is the explanation. So, synonymous language. Language and contrasting conditions contrasting conditions so what is contrasting conditions you should notice that the question it is negative not using pt scans but here it is positive um, okay by being able to discriminate pt scan supplement ct scan this is positive whereas this is negative contrasting statement and question statement is uh, positive and the question is negative. So contrasting view he is presenting. So that's it. And synonymous language is a discriminate. If you can discriminate whether it is a broken bone or not. That means you are diagnosing it. This bone is broken. This bone is not broken. So if you can definitely discriminate whether the bone okay, uh, is broken or not. You are able to identify. You are able to diagnose it. So try to understand the synonymous language. So is the explanation helpful? 
तो गिव ए ये और इन ने जस्ट टेक आओ वन सेकेंड टू जस्ट गिव योर कॉमेंट वाई और एन इवन इनफ यस that is the first question and next yes Yes, this is the second question. You have ninety seconds. We are moving very fast. We will complete all the Bs, and we also will complete all the Cs.
30 seconds more. Yes, All right. So submit your answer. Already you submitted. Okay, good. Christy, Yogendra, Jyotika, Sakina. Yeah, four of you. Yeah, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Submit your answers. Yes. So. Yes. Yes. So, right. Now let us check our answers. Yes, logical reasoning approach. Question number two. Yes. Copy, post a link. Yeah, this is the link. You can go. Updates course piece. Yeah, and you can click on the bubble A, B, or C, and you'll get the answer. Yes, and then update your scores, please. Yeah, I told you it's logical reasoning. It is logical reasoning. What is logical reasoning you should understand? Which of the following can be understood? Understood. What do you mean by the word understood? Understood means comprehend or inferred, infer, what do you infer? I-N-F-E-R, infer, comprehend, understand. These are synonyms, okay? Okay, these are synonyms. Now, what can be understood from the text given below? What can be understood? Which of the following can be understood from the text given below? Okay, now we have to see here. An 
anaerobic samples are more difficult to collect than other samples. All personal handling cultures must show proof of qualifications. The solution at the bottom of the tube changes color in exposure to air. So these are the three things. So this is a little difficult question. This is tough first question. The toughest question because there are three points here and all the three are questioned here. So you have to check with all the three. That's the problem. So let us analyze these points. So we have to go from here itself directly, not from the text. So anaerobic samples. Anaerobic samples are more difficult to collect than other samples. Anaerobic samples. So aerobic samples. Anaerobic samples, aerobic samples. That's it. So these samples are more difficult to collect. So this is talking about collection. So more difficult. Anaerobic samples, more difficult. So more difficult. So the difficulty of collection. So the difficulty of collection. Difficult to collect. Which are difficult? Difficult to collect. So collection is difficult. So he's talking about collection. So difficult to collect. Comparison, more difficult to collect. So more difficult to collect, right. All personal handling cultures must show proof of qualifications. So proof of qualification is important here. Proof of qualification. Here you have um, more difficult to collect. Here proof of qualifications must be shown. Okay. The solution at the bottom of the tube changes color. So changing color, color change. So these are important here. Now, if you go very clearly, now I'm going to change the color. So the collection, is it talking about collection? Or is it talking about qualification? Qualification. Or is it talking about color? What is he exactly focusing on? What is he exactly focusing on? Is he change, talking about collection? Is he talking about qualification? Or is he talking about color? Now let us see. So this is a little tougher. Okay, let us say this will be the 42nd question. So if you get 41 rights, so this will be the only answer which you may go wrong, chances. So that much difficult question. Okay, now let us see. All cultures must be handled exclusively by qualified medical personnel. All culture tubes must be labeled. Okay. And the laboratory form completed. Care must be taken to include without fail the source of the specimen. While obtaining, it must be remembered that the condition should be sterile and any swabs that are used are uncontaminated. Okay. The specimens must be sent to the laboratory immediately before they dry. A dry specimen is an unusable specimen. While taking an anaerobic, anaerobic culture, minimize its exposure to air. If the color of the solution at the bottom of the culture tube is pink, discard the culture. So here, if you see very clearly, if you see very clearly, is it talking about uh, anaerobic samples? Is it talking about anaerobic samples? Okay. So here, is he talking about anaerobic samples? So anaerobic. Okay. He is talking about all cultures here. All cultures. Now let us try to exclude these points. Okay. All cultures. Okay. So all personal handling cultures must must see here very carefully must be handled exclusively by qualified medical profession personnel that's all all cultures all the cultures whether it's anaerobic or aerobic or whatever okay all culture tubes so it's not talking about okay all culture tubes so this is not regarding all cultures it's about tubes must be labeled and the laboratory form completed. Okay. Care must be taken to include without fail. But here, all anaerobic samples are more difficult to collect. Is he talking anywhere about the difficulty? Is he talking anywhere about the difficulty? Okay. 
they are difficult to collect. Is he telling that any anywhere difficulty? All right. So I have already given you these points. So now based on that one, yes. Yeah, Keval. Yeah, you can explain yes. this, Keval. Yes, sir. Sir, actually, if we try to look at this question, first of all, it is a, a this type of question. Although uh, the first option we can eliminate, uh, like uh, there is no, there is not done any degree of comparison, like whichever which sample is more difficult or less difficult to collect. So we can eliminate this. Also, the second option, there is a written that in the first sentence itself that it should be handled exclusively by qualified medical personnel, but there is nothing mentioned about uh, about them showing the proof of qualification, whether they are competent or not. So that is how we can reach to the third answer. And also the third answer is mentioned in the text, like when we are taking uh, in the last two lines, when we are taking an anaerobic culture, we should minimize the exposure to air. And if the solution at the bottom of the culture tube is pink, then we have to discard it. It means that it, it has been exposed to air. That is how we come to this answer. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Now let us uh, come to that point here. Yes. So, while taking, while taking an anaerobic culture, while taking an anaerobic culture, so what he is ordering you, he is telling you minimize, means do's and don'ts, minimize its exposure to air, minimize as much as possible. Okay, that means it should not be exposed to air. So anaerobic culture, while taking an anaerobic culture, minimize its exposure to air. Why is he telling to minimize its exposure to air? Means avoid. Minimize means avoid as far as possible. Reduce. That means do not expose to air. Why is he telling do not expose to air? Because if you expose to air, maybe some problem is there. Maybe some problem is there. So what is that problem? The color of the solution at the bottom of the culture changes to pink. If it is exposed to air, the color, if it is exposed to air, that if condition, if it is exposed to air, the bottom of the culture, the color of the solution will turn to pink. So if it turns to pink, the culture is useless. It is rendered useless. There is no meaning because it is damaged or destroyed or uh, uh, not useful. So then you have to discard the culture, means throw it off because there is no use of sending it to the laboratories. There is no purpose because the color at the solution, color of the solution at the bottom of the culture is turned to pink. That means it is exposed to air. You should not expose to air. When you are taking anaerobic culture, you should not expose to air. If it is exposed to air, the culture uh, bottom of the solution will turn to pink. Then there is no use of this culture. And it should not be sent for test. So you can throw it off. That's it. So that is an indication. That's an indicator. What is an indicator? The culture color turns to pink at the bottom. That's an indication that it's uh, meaningless now for that it's not useful anymore that already exposed to air and that's the reason why this culture color changed to pink so now let us see here yeah color Exposure to air. Okay. So changes to pink. Okay. Otherwise, it is not pink, it is changing to pink. 
So the solution at the bottom of the tube, there's a possibility it's changing its color to pink upon exposure. If is the condition, if it is exposed to air, the color changes to pink. So if it changes to pink, that means to discard the culture because it is meaningless anymore. So is it clear? Is the explanation clear? Is the explanation useful? Y for S or N for no? No problem, be bold enough. Yeah. Be bold enough to say no also, no problem, nobody is troubling you. Be bold enough to say no or say yes. Yes. So, right, all the students who are facing difficulties in reading, stay back with me as long as I am. Okay? Because I'm going to give a num lot of session. This session is especially for those students who are going for the exam this week. And they requested for special session. It's a very important session. We're going at a rapid pace. And we are going to work out the full test. Part A, part B, part C. So decide whether you want to stay with me or not. I have the will. But do you have? Decide it for yourself. First, we'll do part B. Print the screen. Yeah. Yeah, that is the explanation. Yes, next, we are going to um Did I close this previous page Yes. Third question. File. Uh -huh. Pages. Organized pages. So one, two, and a three. Yes. This is the third question. Four, five, and six. Okay. So this is the third page, edit. Hmm. Yes, you have 90 seconds.
30 seconds more. Yes. So, boomerang zero zero three. Yes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and submit. So, so. Yes, war is one sided. Good. Question number three. Yes. Copy, post link. Yeah. Update. Sports. Please. Simon sir is telling please. So at least for please, you have to give the answer. Yeah, update your scores. Yeah. Now, who can explain this next question? I gave a chance to two people. One is uh, here now. Who will give? Sakina. Hello, Sakina. Shakina is busy. Okay, Dr. Rani. Hello. Ah, yeah, Shakina, yeah. You can explain the good answer. Evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Sir, they, they are uh, discussing uh, in the paragraph uh, regarding the positioning of the patient uh, who mm. is in the positioning. Mm. Pathologist and surgeon. Because in anesthesia, they are taking care of the airway and the surgeon, they are taking care of the surgery side. So they must be involved, both of them, uh, mm. regarding the positioning. Mm. So the, the soft tissue also involved because uh, it depends if uh, the bony areas and the soft tissue will be compressed, so it will be affect like a abrasion or laceration. Mm. So anesthesia also involved, soft tissue also involved, and this readiness of the team is uh, they didn't mention. Mm. So what I guess uh, C is the right answer. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Yes. So most of you got three out of three till now. Now let us discuss this answer. Which of the following is not affected? Not affected by positioning. That means two are affected and one is not affected. He is asking about them. Okay. Right. So not affected. So all the other things are affected by positioning. 
but one is not affected. So now let us see, he is talking about soft tissue, a responsibility of the anesthesiologist, readiness of the team. Okay. Okay. Now, proper patient positioning. So, proper patient positioning is critical for safety and a successful patient outcome. Proper patient positioning is critical for safety and a successful patient outcome. The surgeon together with the anesthesiologist. So, anesthesiologist chooses the surgical position. So, who chooses? He is definitely affected by the position. Who? Anesthesia. So, it is the responsibility of the anesthesia. So, he cannot be affected by that. Okay. He is affected by that. So, he is choosing surgeon and anesthesiologist. Both are choosing the surgical position based on the procedure to be performed. So, Try to understand. The surgeon together with the anesthesiologist. The surgeon is involved and anesthesiologist is also involved. He is choosing the surgical position. Both of them together are choosing the surgical position. Okay. Right. Based on the procedure to be performed. Okay. Now coming to the point. Factors that are taken into account. So anesthetist. So, it is the responsibility of the analogist. So, you cannot say uh, he is not affected. Okay. So, he is responsible. Okay. Right. Next. Factors that are taken into account before making the decision include the age, height, weight and the health of the patient. Other considerations include anatomic and physiological factors. Protection. For respiratory tract, peripheral nerves, musculoskeletal structure, circulation, and soft tissue. Soft tissue is also considered. Is also considered. So, that's it. So, soft tissue is considered. You cannot say that it is not affected by pollution. Yes. Soft tissue. Yes. They are, it is, they are considered. And... Uh, Anesthesiologist is choosing the position and soft tissue is also considered. Soft tissue is also considered for this decision. Okay. Right. Now, the anesthesiologist, yeah. So, these two people are involved. Sorry. Soft tissue is considered. Soft tissue is considered. Anesthesiologist is there involved because he is choosing the position. Okay. So, which of the following is not affected by positioning? Yes, soft tissue is involved. That means affected. And anesthesiologist is involved. He is also, uh, we can say, affected. So, now if you see readiness of the team, the goal is to prevent injury from pressure and obstruction. While the final responsibility lies both with the surgeon and the anesthetologist. Okay. A successful outcome depends on the entire surgical team. Okay. A successful outcome depends on the entire surgical team. Entire surgical team Maybe the other than uh, surgeon and anesthetist, others also are involved there. So it is not the entire team. So main responsible is anesthesiologist and the surgeon. Right? Entire team include many other people. So those people are just bystanders. They are not affected by positioning. Okay? It is the responsibility of the anesthesiologist and it is the soft tissue that is concerned. So C is exclusion principle. Exclusion principle. Yes. Right. So anesthesiologist chooses because he is responsible. So not affected means he is irresponsible. Okay. He is not responsible. Not irresponsible. Not responsible. 
soft tissue is consi considered soft tissue is considered if it is not considered that means it is not affected that's it so what is not considered is not affected what is considered only is affected so it is included there so exclusion principle so the team okay Entire surgical team includes not only surgeon and anesthesiologist, but also others. So we are not bothered about the others. Okay. Right. So soft tissue is here. This is, uh, uh, if you reason this properly, Anesthesiologist chooses because it is his responsibility. Anesthesiologist chooses. Anesthesiologist chooses because it is his responsibility. Reverse angle. Then soft tissue is considered because it is important. It is important. So that's it. So these two are there. But readiness of the team, all the team members, there are many others including a, a surgeon and anesthesiologist. There are many others, nurses and other helpers. So the team is exclusive. Team doesn't involve only the surgeon and the anesthesiologist, but others also. So entire surgical team, okay? Team, this is exclusive principle. The team doesn't mean only the uh, anesthesiologist and the surgeon, they include many more. So. The others are not affected. Anesthesiologist is affected and surgeon is affected, but that, not the others. Right. Exclusion, exclusion principle. Yeah. So we are going at a rapid pace. This is the fourth question. Let me edit it. Yes. Don't miss this session because this is a very important session. Yes, uh, welcome Jasmine Fiola Cruces. Yeah, that's good. Right. So, 90 seconds.
Uh, 30 seconds. Yes, the number is increasing very good. So, boomerang zero zero four. Yes, submit your answer seven six five four three two one and submit. Yes. The logical reasoning approach. This is the fourth question. Yes. So take your answers. Copy, post a link. Yes, and uh, update scores, please. Yeah. Yes, update scores, please. Uh, now, who will explain this question? Uh, Dr. Rani. Dr. Rani. Yes, sir. So, are you comfortable? You can explain this question. So, what does this text tells us about the critical care? So, in the critical care, there are a lot of errors are taking place. So sometimes these errors are very serious that can result in the patient deaths. So despite of training, the errors are continuous. So there are strategies to improve uh, the quality and reduce in the errors. So I thought like these, uh, uh, the staff frustration results in unaccept unacceptable delays, that is B, but here it is written acceptable. Staff frustration is acceptable. So rule out B. Uh, and the second is the methods to manage cues can result in the increased errors. So I have seen that errors increased. I didn't see there. So there are, despite of training, errors are continuing. It was not written increase. So I choose A, but it is wrong. Okay. Right. You said it two times, despite of. You said the two times, despite of. Do you think despite of is right? Instead of training, yes. Yes. Yeah, just a despite is enough. Okay. No need of. When you say despite, just a despite is enough. Despite is equal to in spite of. One word okay, despite sir. is equal to three words in spite of. All the three are there in the word despite. You understand now? Yes, sir. So when you say despite, you need not say again off because this off is already included in despite. You understand? Got it. So never despite, use the word despite. off with a despite. Despite the hard work, he failed. In spite of the hard work, he failed. So despite 
you are putting in the place of in spite of three words equal to despite. So, yeah. So you can see here, uh, I'll give you, because many people are there, let them also learn from your mistake because everyone will does this mistake. That's the problem. So despite, now what is this despite? Many people they say despite of, not only you, many people. So when you use despite, you should not use of. You can see here, despite repeated assurance. Otherwise, you have to say in spite of repeated assurance because despite is equal to in spite of. Okay, I'll show you the synonym. In spite of and despite. See here. Right, sir. You understand? Either you use in spite of or you use despite. Any one you use. So that's it. Is that clear? Yes, sir. It is clear. So everyone, everyone, be careful when you are using in spite of and despite. Yeah. Now coming to the point. So, yeah, here you are. So, who has given the right answer? Let us uh, take from them the explanation. So, Keval Shah has given the right answer. Yeah, Keval. Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, you have given the right answer. So, can you please explain why you thought that C is the right answer? Why you gave C as the right answer and not others? Yes, sir. Yeah. As, the, uh, as the question says, that what does this text, text tell us about clinical care? So, mm -hmm. as we can see that uh, there is nothing mentioned about uh, A option that that if errors uh, are happening, then legal system will be involved. Mm. So it is uh, obviously el eliminated. Then for the option B, we can see that uh, the, uh, in the option that is written, staff frustration often results. But mm. here uh, it is like uh, this can be a source of sta staff frustration. But also, but also it says that uh, it is usually accepted. So it cannot be the answer. It is also eliminated. And now mm -hmm. it comes to option C. Uh, it is written that the methods to manage queues can result in increased errors. Okay, so it is given here in the uh, last two lines that uh, there are many strategies which, uh, which can be used to improve the quality of the clinical care. But uh, many of these steps are being in introduced to manage queues. So it is given indirectly that if many of the methods which are used in uh, the clean, uh, quality of the clinical care are used in being managed queues, then it will result in increased errors. Yeah, fine. Yes, now let us see here. That's fine, thank you. So let us analyze the question in a different angle. Yeah. What does this text tell us about clinical care? What do you infer from this text? Errors can result in the legal system. So legal system is the point here. So the main thing is legal system. If there are errors, legal system will be involved. Okay, right. So legal system, law. That's the point. So legal system is the most important point here. That's the result in the legal system being involved. If you do errors, legal system will be involved. Why errors means what? Errors, every error will result in legal system. For example, we don't have the text. We don't have the text at all. Yeah. We don't have the text at all. Suppose. But still you can find the answer. Na? Errors can result in the legal system being involved. Small errors, medium errors and serious errors will be there. Three types of errors. So some errors will not trouble in any way. Okay. Then why should the legal system be involved? Errors means all errors can result in legal system being involved. Errors can result in legal. Do all errors result in legal system? Definitely not. Some errors 
which are resulting in death or something like that, okay, will involve a legal system. So minor problems will not involve legal system, right? Common sense. Common sense, pure common sense. Errors are different types. Mild errors, moral errors, intense errors, or extremely serious errors. So that result in death. Then only legal system. Small errors. Okay. He lost his eye. Means it's serious. He's lost his eyesight. Means serious. Legal system can be involved. Just some small delay and no problem happened, so it will not involve legal system. By default, this is a question of common sense. A is ruled out because all errors will not result in legal system being involved. If every error is in, <laughs> involves a legal system, then legal system cannot do anything. Okay. 100 errors happen. And in that hundred errors, only one error with regarding death and one error regarding loss of eyesight or loss of leg, such things only will result in legal system to be involved. Okay. By mistake, you kept the needle there and it hurt somebody. That will not, that is an error, but it will not involve legal system. Okay. There is a small cut. Okay. Small, pricked a little, finished. So that will not involve legal system, right? Errors means all errors. How can all the errors involve legal system? So ruled out. You don't need an answer passage for this one. The next one, staff of frustration often results in unacceptable delays. Staff of frustration often results in unacceptable delays. So staff are frustrated. Why they are frustrated? Why are the staff frustrated? Simply they will not be frustrated, right? Simply, simply will they be frustrated? If you are burdening them too much, they will be frustrated. At a time you have to look after 100 patients means you will get frustrated, right? If you are given 10 patients, you can handle very calmly. 25 patients, okay. 50 patients, still you can manage. 100 patients, it's beyond human capacity. Okay. One nurse looking after 100 patients is beyond human capacity. Or one doctor treating 100 patients is beyond the human capacity. So, staff will frust become frustrated. And how can it be unacceptable delay? He is tired. He is already frustrated because of the overburdening. Okay. That delay is accepted. Na? Because he is tired. He needs rest. Ha, I will not do wait. I need some rest. I want to go and have a cup of tea. My head is burning. Okay. This delay is accepted because he is frustrated. He is bored. He is overburdened. You have to accept the delay. Because if he doesn't have his cup of tea or if he doesn't take rest, his mind will not pro work properly and there will be some other problem. He cannot read properly. So, it is acceptable if staff is frustrated and that is why the delay is there. That is acceptable because it's because of many other reasons. Logical reason. It is his duty to discharge uh, some work but he is frustrated because he is not getting time to at least relax, breathe. So he is frustrated. No, please wait. I cannot do anything more. I need some tea. I need some rest. Somebody else go and do it. So somebody else from the neighboring ward or somebody should come or some substitute. Some delay is accepted. How can it be unacceptable? It's logical, right? Okay. It's logical. Now, methods to manage cues. So, there are cues. There are cues. 
you are applying some methods. Okay. You are applying some methods to manage the queues. There are queues. You are trying to manage the queues using some methods. Some methods may not be successful. Some methods may be successful. So there is a chance of increased errors. So when you are applying some methods to manage queues, there may be some errors. So this is possible, can result. There are chances. Sometimes errors may be there, increased. Sometimes errors may not be increased. But there is a possibility, no? can result. Not will result, it can result. So when you are trying to manage the queues, okay, when you are trying to manage the queues, there is a possibility of increased errors. This is accepted. So sometimes it is increasing, sometimes it is not, but there is a chance of increasing, right? Possibility is there. Okay. You are trying to manage, but in managing things, there is a possibility of uh, increased errors. Errors may increase in number. So this is a, by default, you can understand elimination technique. Now let us see the other way around. Yeah. Uh, legal system. Is there anywhere about legal system here? The overall quality of the clinical care and service for any one patient is unpredictable. Most of patients experience delays or unacceptable service. These can only be corrected after costly rework by staff. This can be a source of staff frustration, but can be a source of staff, but is usually accepted as part of the routine. Other errors are more serious and will result in harm and unexpected patient deaths. It's telling death is possible, but is it telling that le this text is telling that le maybe maybe legal system will be involved? Definitely, it will be involved. But is the text telling that? Is the text mentioning about? Is the text talking anything about legal uh, action? No. Despite training, the errors continue. That's all. That topic is ended. There is a, the strategies to improve quality could be either reducing the number of steps in the process of care or reducing the number of errors at each step. However, many of these process steps have been introduced to manage queues. So try to understand this. The strategies to improve quality could be either reducing the number of steps in the processes of care or reducing the number of errors at each step. However, many of these process steps have been introduced to manage queues. So when this you introduce to manage queues, maybe you can manage or you cannot manage. Chances there you can manage. To manage. To manage, we are introducing. But they may be successful, they may be unsuccessful. So if it is unsuccessful, that means there are some possible. Okay. Yeah, in the death, the legal system will be involved. That is a different thing. It is not in the text. So forget that. Yeah, if somebody dies. The patient uh, relatives will go and complain against the, uh, how can he die? Yes, fine. Yes. Okay. So here, however, many of these process steps have been introduced to manage queues. But they may be successful or not successful. If they are not successful, that means the errors will increase. If they are successful, errors may be managed and may stay, remain the same or reduce the errors. Possibility is there, yes or no. So can means 50-50. Can means 50-50, not 100%. Will result means 100%. Okay? Right? Yeah. There may be or may not increased errors. So you have to be a little careful with these methods to manage. Yeah. Yeah. So methods to manage queues. Okay, methods to manage queues. Can result in increased errors. So, introduced to manage queues. Let us see properly here. To manage queues. Okay. To manage queues. Yeah. So, 
the strategies to improve quality could be either reducing the number of steps, reduce the number of steps in the process of care or reducing the number of errors at each step. Okay? At each step. So, however, many of these process steps have been introduced to manage queues. Okay? So, now here, the strategies to improve quality could either reducing the number of steps. He's telling reducing the number of steps. Number one, reducing the number of steps or reducing the number of errors at each step. So try to understand this, correlate these things. Reducing the number of steps in the process. Number one, reducing the number of errors at each step. That is number two. So if you see this very clearly, okay, right. If you do not do this, that means then many of these process, many, not one, many means multiple steps have been introduced. That means the more the steps, the more the errors. So reduce the errors, reduce the steps, reduce the errors. So try to understand. The less the steps, the less the errors. But many of these steps have been introduced. Many of these steps have been introduced. Because many steps have been introduced, the, the errors will increase. Less, the lesser the steps, the lesser the errors. The more the steps, the more the errors. That means if number of steps are, see, one step is there, you may have the chance to fall once. If two steps are there, two times you may fall. Chances are there. First step you may fall or second step you may fall. But if 10 steps are there and any of the steps you may fall, that means more likely to fall down as the number of steps increase. So anywhere you might fall. The more, the less the steps, the less the errors. The more the steps, the more the errors. Try to understand that one. So methods to manage queues. Here they introduced they introduced many, many steps have been introduced to manage queues. So this can result in, so more the steps, more the errors. Less the steps. Reducing the number of steps, the strategies to improve quality is to reduce the number of steps and reduce the number of errors. So if you reduce the number of steps, the number of errors will be reduced. But what is happening, many of these process steps have reduced, introduced. So many more errors might happen. I think whether you can see it properly or not. So try to analyze, okay, in a different angle. Yeah. So now let us see. So to manage queues. I'm showing you word by word, okay? To manage cues, okay? Now, reducing errors, reducing, opposite of increasing, okay? Errors, okay? Errors. So reduce the steps, reduce the errors. So methods means steps. Okay. Methods means steps. The number of steps. Reduce the number of steps, the num reduce the number of errors. Reduce the number of steps, reduce the number of errors. So parallel. If you reduce the number of steps, chances of errors will be less. If you increase the steps, chances of errors will be more. So many are in so reduce, but is increased. Many are in many so increased so errors also will increase okay if you reduce the steps the errors will reduce if you increase the steps errors will increase that's it so it is contradictory here okay try to analyze that point properly okay
so yeah so is the explanation clear enough y or n yes or no one letter enough yeah thank you just a message please all of you if it is clear i'll be happy Yes. So, next. Uh, fifth question is here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Once again, I'm telling you, those who are going for the exam this week, don't miss this session because it's very important. Vinita, Christy, those who are going for this weekend, this is specially dedicated for you, this session. Apply all these techniques. Yeah, 90 seconds.
लास्ट थर्टी सेकेंड Yeah. So now, uh, boomerang. Sakina, don't send a direct message, please. Only group message. Zero zero five. Yes, seven six five four three two one and submit. So those who are very, very serious, you can stay as far as possible. So Simon sir has no work. So what to do? He's taking classes, but you have exam, no? So stay back. Those are serious. I'm not forcing anybody, your wish. There are some people who don't get time other than night time. So, A, B, C. Yeah. The answer for question number five. Yes, I have given the answer here. Copy, post link. Yes. That is the answer. So updates course, please. Oh, Sakina, you are sending me personal messages because of that the message which I am typing, you know, everyone is not getting copy link. Yeah. Again, it is going to Sakina only. So change it from um, uh, to Simon sir to everyone. Okay, don't give personal message. Okay, all the messages are coming there. Okay, now it will come to everyone. Updates course. It double double work for me. No problem. You can write openly. No worries. Okay, right. So, now who will want to explain this one? Who will want to explain this one? Christy, are you ready to explain? So, if you are ready to explain, you can unmute. Otherwise, you can just say a message. Okay, Dilip Singh. The lip singer. Yeah, Juliet, if the lip doesn't respond, then I'll give you. Yeah, Juliet, you can unmute. Yeah, um, you can explain. Okay. Um the, according to the text, it said which of the following is true about the last offices? So, um, talking about doctors are never involved in last offices. So, coming to the um, the third, um, coming to the the third line, he said it is unusual for doctors to be directly involved in performing or in performing of last offices. So, it is unusual. Is saying that it is unusual. That means it's not really a thing. Like it's not a traditional. It's not a kind of um um. It's not a kind of um, requirement for doctors to carry out, or a procedure for doctors to carry out the 
last offices, but it's saying here that it is never, that means it was never there for the doctors to do it. Then coming to B, he said only traditional nurses can carry out last offices for this um, procedure. Meanwhile, coming to the next paragraph, he's saying after the doctors, he's saying as it has been traditionally, as it has been, it has traditionally been a nursing rule. That means it, it, it's is there, it has been a procedure for the nurses. The nurses have been doing it from ab initial. So that means um, it doesn't correspond with the answer. Then coming to the C, I got my answer from the last two paragraphs. He's saying some hospitals have taken the last offices procedure away from the hospital hospitals, giving the responsibility to the undertakers or the mortuary, which I believe correspond with C, is because C says not all hospitals undertaking the responsibility because they've now um, inculcated or accommodated the undertakers or the mortuary attendants to participate in this last office. That, that was the reason why I chose C because I believe it corresponded. So that was my answer. Thank you. Yeah. Juliet, can you introduce yourself? Where are you from and what is your profession? And do I know you? This is the first session for you or uh, have you attended the session earlier? Oh, okay. Um, I'm from Nigeria. But uh, I'm a nurse, but I'm currently living in, in the UK, and actually it's my first time. Right. There are many Nigerian students here with me. Right, that's good. Thank you. Fine. Yeah. So now coming to the point here, yeah, that was a good explanation. Uh, but to cut it short... To cut it short, what is true about the last offices? True about last offices. Okay. Doctors are never involved in last offices. Is this true? It is unusual for doctors to be directly, directly involved. But they involve. It's unusual. It is unusual. Sometimes it is possible, but it's unusual, means rare, rare phenomenon. Unusual means not usual, not regular. Here, there, somewhere, doctors are directly involved. Okay. So doctors are never involved. This is wrong. It's not never. It is sometimes. It is unusual. What do you mean by unusual? Not usual, not regular. But sometimes, okay, that is an unusual phenomenon. That means not always available. See, new moon is an unusual phenomenon. That means every day you will not see new moon. Okay. It's uh, full moon is unusual. New moon is unusual. That means not always. One day, is full moon, one day is new moon, but in between there are many other shapes. So, unusual means not a common phenomenon. It's a very rare phenomenon. It's uncommon, but that doesn't mean that it is not, it's never there. Sometimes it is there. That means doctors are sometimes involved in lost offices, but it is unusual. It is unusual, means very rarely noticed doctors are directly involved in the performing the but it is not never sometimes it is there okay sometimes it is there yeah so understand the logic behind that never and unusual never means a zero percent unusual means a rare rare that means ten percent five percent fifteen percent or 20%.
Okay. So is the concept clear between unusual never means is equal to zero. Zero percent. Never means zero percent. Unusual means uncommon. It's not common. So heroes coming into the public is unusual. Heroes, the film heroes coming in the public is unusual. Does it mean that they never come in public? Unusual is equal to 5 to 20 percent. Is that clear now? Is that clear? Say yes or no. If it is clear, say yes. If it is not clear, say no. Please, I want you to know. If it is clear, then it's, I will move to the next point. Ne? So never means zero percent. Means doctors will never know where it is there. Then it is never. But he is telling it is unusual for doctors to be directly. He is not saying doctors never directly. It is unusual. Means it is uncommon. It doesn't mean that they never. It's uncommon. That means it's a rare phenomenon. Rarely here or there, somewhere or some other place. Doctors usually, doctors uh, uh, participate in the last process. That's it. So this is ruled out. Because never and unusual don't match. Because never means 0%. Never means 0%. Unusual means 5 to 10%. Then 5 to 10% are there. They carry out. Maybe 5%, maybe 6%, maybe even 3% also no problem. But never means 0%. Unusual means 1 to 20% or 10%. You can take that any way you want. 1% also is not never. Na? 1 in 100 also is never. No. So, these don't match. So, I am giving an arrow. Never and unusual don't match. Okay? So, that's ruled out. Next, only traditional nurses carry out last of his procedure. Okay. So, to be directly involved, it's uh, our doctor's room. As it has traditionally been a nursing role. Traditionally, it is a nursing role. But not a traditional nurses carry out. Okay, try to understand this. Only traditional nurses carry out last part. Only traditional nurses carry out. No, sometimes doctors also perform. Na? Try to understand this. Only traditional nurses carry out last officer's perform procedure. No, if nurses are not there, the doctor should do. Na? Rare phenomenon. So how can you say only traditional nurses carry out? Sometimes doctors are also participating. No? By default, if A is wrong, then B is also wrong. Yeah. Try to only nurses? No, doctors also perform. No? Try to understand. Is it only nurses? No, try to understand this. Only nurses? Nurses is okay. It's traditionally a nurse's job. But only nurses? No. Sometimes doctors also perform. What if nurses are not there? Okay. So it is unusual for doctors to be directly involved. So rarely, sometimes doctors also involve. So only nurses? No. Sometimes doctors also. Either in the absence of nurses, or non-availability of nurses, only one nurse is there and that nurse is assigned some other emergency duty then. So doctor is participating, right? Okay. As it is, it is unusual for doctors to be directly involved in performing of last offices as it has traditionally been a nursing role. Traditionally, it is a nursing role. But sometimes doctors also involved. So if A is wrong, by default, B is also wrong because it's not only traditional nurses. Okay. Only traditional nurses is wrong because sometimes doctors are also. By default, it is also wrong because it's not only nurses because sometimes doctors also carry out last procedure. 
So try to see this one. Because of this word, only nurses. Only nurses. Only. Only nurses. What about doctors? Doctors are involving, right? Okay. Is it only nurses? No. Doctors are involving. Doctors are involving. Doctors are never involved. Means this is wrong. Means doctors are involving. You can see it is unusual for doctors to be directly. Unusual, rare phenomenon. In rare situations, doctors are involving. Na? So that means how can you say only nurses? How can you say only nurses? So because of this only nurses, it is wrong. Because doctors are also there. 98% nurses, maybe 2% doctors. So how can you say only nurses? Exceptional cases, doctors are also involved. So by default, this is also wrong. This is also wrong. So if both are wrong, then C must be right. Now let us check. You understand the logic. Only nurses. No, no, no. 98 per times nurses are there. But uh, unusual situations, doctors are. That 2% is doctors. So B is also wrong because it's not only traditional nurses carry out. Sometimes doctors are also carrying out in rare situations. So B is wrong. Now let us see. Not all hospitals. Yeah. Not all. Means a sum. That's clear. Hospitals. Hospitals. Undertake. Have taken. The responsibility. Okay. The last office's procedure. Away from hospitals. Okay, and they are giving the responsibility to the undertakers of the mortuary. So it is the responsibility of the people in mortuary. That means some hospitals are neglecting these duties. And they are giving this duty through the mortuary, undertakers of the mortuary. So try to understand this. I'm changing color now. Okay. I'm changing color now. So, hospitals, okay, hospitals undertake, have taken the responsibility, the last of his procedures. They are not taking the responsibility, they are taking it away from hospitals. That means they are not taking the responsibility. Who are not taking the responsibility? Some hospitals are not taking the responsibilities. That means many hospitals are taking the responsibilities. That means 75%. 75%. Okay. 75%, sorry. 75%. And some are 25%. 25% are taking the responsibility away and giving it to the undertakers of the mortuary. 25% are giving the responsibility. That means they are not undertaking the responsibility. Whereas 75% of the hospitals are taking the responsibility on themselves. And 25% are giving the responsibility to the people who are in the mortuary. But 75% are taking the responsibility. That means not all. Only 75% are taking. That means not all. 75% is not all. 100% is all. But 75% is not all. That's accepted. So try to understand the logic here. Unless and until you understand the logic. Okay. Understand not all means 99% is also not all. Understand the logic. Okay. All is equal to 100%. Try to understand. Before also I told you. Never means 0%. Okay. 
All means 100%, always. 99 is also not all. Even if 1% is also not all. Yeah, that means by default this is right. It is not all. C is the right answer. Did you, okay, do you appreciate the explanation and the logic behind it? Proportional realization, okay? If, if you appreciate, give a thumbs up. Jasmine Fiola, give open message, please. Open. All of you give open message. Don't send any personal message to me. Because when you're sending personal message, I have to go again and change it. Open messaging. Messaging. Message only, please. Yeah. Fine. I hope you understood what I'm telling you. Only traditional. These doctors also are there. Rarely doctors are also participating. Okay. Rarely doctors are also participating. Oh. So nurses only. Not nurses only. But doctors also. Doctors also, in unusual, exceptional cases, doctors also. So B is wrong. Not all means a sum. But here 75, 25. So some hospitals are not taking the responsibility. That means many hospitals are taking the responsibility. Some hospitals are giving the responsibility to the undertakers of mortuary. Some means less than 25. Many means more than 75. You should remember. So not all. Some, not all, even one or one to twenty-five is some. Zero is no. Hundred percent is all. Ninety-nine is also not all. That you have to understand. Okay. How can hundred percent take the responsibility? You're logically insane. Yeah. So um, yes, that's the point. So, this is the demonstration session. Yesterday, um, yes, this week, uh, Sakina joined a nurse from Pakistan, currently in uh, Saudi Arabia or somewhere. Yeah, she joined the session. She is a nurse by profession. And there is a doctor, uh, doctor, doctor, what's the name? Uh, she joined the class. So, registered. So, if anybody is interested, you can request for admission. And I will consider if you are really serious. I have three places for doctors and four places for nurses. And the batch starts tomorrow. This is April batch. Now we have still 30 minutes left for the Easter discount. You can avail Easter discount. Okay. Today only. Those who are joining today only. Because, okay. If you are interested, you can approach me for Easter discount. So this is the explanation. Yes. Clear. So you have 30 minutes remaining. If you can request me before that time, then I will consider you and I may call you after the session anytime possible and your options will be open for the Easter discount. You can talk to me personally. Yeah. So for the students who have not registered and those who are interested for the regular sessions, you can contact me. Yeah. So next question. Question number six.
Iya. Yes, this is question number six. This is question number six. So before we start this question, I want to ask you one question. Yeah. I want to ask you one question. The question is, do you want me to continue with the part C? Those who want me to continue with the part C, you can message. Okay? Right. Because I'm going to wait for you. Became cold coffee. Yeah. So, especially Vinita and Philo. Is Philo here? What is this girl's name? Is going for the exam. Which of Philo? Christy Philo. Christy is there? Christy is gone. Christy Philo. Yeah, okay, no problem. Even then, otherwise, I'm going to take this session. Christy. Yeah, there are students who pay. Okay. 3,000 or 4,000 for one week sessions. So, then what about the regular session? How much very important it is? Okay. Okay, so how many yeses are there? Keval, can you count and tell me? Yeah, Jasmine, Fiola. So, right. Keval Shah, Rani, Vinita, Raj, Sakina, and Juliet. Seven candidates. Yeah. So then we are moving to the part C also. Seven in total. Yeah. Right. That's good. Yes. Sixth question. Yeah. You can go ahead. 90 seconds. Yeah. As you wish. Even if you want me to sit all night and there with you. But I don't know whether you can survive. I will definitely survive. Okay.
30 seconds more. Thirty seconds more. Yes. So, boomerang, yeah, big air duck, zero one zero, sorry, zero one six, zero zero six. Yes. So, submit your answer, please. Yeah. So question number six. Yes, boomerang zero zero six. A, B, C. 
logical reasoning approach. Yes, the sixth answer is here. You can check. So that is the answer. Now, update scores, please. Yeah. Yes, Vinita has got 5 out of 6, Keval 6 out of 6, Shakina 4 by 6, what about the rest? Yeah, so right, no problem. So right now, so we have concluded six questions out of uh, B. Next, we'll go for part C. But before that, I want your feedback for this session. Okay, part B. How beneficial? Yeah, how beneficial? was this session yeah write in your own words one two three sentences what did you learn what new things did you learn take time take time one minute and uh, explain what was useful in this session what did you learn what new things did you learn and uh, what are the tricks that you have used, whatever you want to say, maximum three sentences you can write. After that, 2352, I have to order dinner. Yeah. So, Yeah, please write in your own words. One, two, maximum three sentences. That's a good uh, testimony, Dr. Keval Shah. Sir, part B was excellent. 
before I had one or two questions incorrect, but now I'm getting every question correct. So you can target a, a plus. Yeah, Jasmine, you have to thank uh, your friend Zenda, Dr. Zenda, couple, husband and wife, because he has introduced the sessions. You have to thank Dr. Zenda because he introduced you for the classes, right? Otherwise, you will not know me. Right. So actually, he is inviting many of your friends because he liked the sessions and he's involving other students also in the same way. He, yes. So... Uh, shall we continue straight away? Or do you need a break of five to ten minutes? Yes. Continue or break? Yeah, we are arranging a uh, check in. Uh, today's yeah, part C. Shall we continue or? You all said yes, continue part C. <laughs> the requests are coming. Can we do tomorrow? Eh? Yeah. So that depends on Vinita actually. Vinita is going for the exam this week. Okay, if it uh, everyone will attend, it will be a group class. Otherwise, it will be personal class. No problem. But yeah, uh, yeah. So, what is your decision? Break for ten minutes or continue? I did not get yes, sir. Means what? Break or continue? So, B for break. C for continue. Just write one word. Yeah, we need to count the number of C's.
five continues. Okay. Yeah. Right. We are continuing. So now, okay, we are continuing. That's understood. But what I'm asking is, do you want a break? Or Continue now. Yeah. So now, do you want a break or no? So... Break or not? So you can give Y or M. So today continue that I accepted. Okay. Now break, yes or no? No break. Good. Five minutes break. No need. Yeah. So we are moving to part. Yeah, check how many of you don't want to break. No problem, I can continue because I have already ordered noodles. Chinese. Today is Easter, no? See, yeah, my Easter I'm spending with you people. Yeah. So four. Yes, no break. Right, move on. Get along. Yes. So we are moving to part C. Part C. So, yeah, once again, get up all of you. File. Yes. Page six. Okay. Page four. Page three. Page two. Page one. Okay. Now we are moving to part C. Part C starts here, one, two, and three. Three pages. Extract, file, save as, part C1. Part C, extract, one. Part C, extract, one. Yeah.
Yeah. So here we are. Get ready. So dealing with the difficult patients. Dealing with difficult patients. Okay. So I'm going to show you the techniques to follow. So bear with me. Yes. Paragraph 1 ends here. Paragraph 2 ends here. Paragraph 3 is very big. Paragraph 4 ends here. Paragraph 5 is very small. Paragraph 6 ends here. So total 6 paragraphs are there. 6, 5 is very small, 4 is also small. And paragraph 3 is very big. Okay, paragraph one is very small. So maybe two questions will be there in paragraph two. Two questions will be there in paragraph three because there are underlinings here and there are underlinings here. So two par two questions may be there from each paragraph. And next one, this is question number one. I'm separating. Question number two. Question number three. Okay, question number four. This is how you have to mentally make. You need not draw lines everywhere, but mentally you have to make like this. So this is question number 12, question number 13, and the last question number 14. There are many reasons why I am drawing these lines so that you'll understand everything very clearly. Now, so you have separated the paragraphs and you have separated the questions. Point number one, who will write uh, I'm going to tell you some points. Okay. So who will write? Vinita. No, Vinita is going for the exam. I don't want to give to Vinita. So Vinita, you focus on the subject. So who I can give? Um, Keval Shah. Dr. Keval Shah. Unmute. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm going to write some points, the steps, what you have to do while you are doing this. Uh, part C. So you now note down those points. I'll tell you, this is first step, this is second step, this is third step, this is fourth step. So make a note of those points and uh, in your notebook and send a photo of that one, okay? Okay, sir. Right. Yeah. So the first step is, you can even take the copy paste to this one and write in my WhatsApp, no problem. So number one, number one is, uh, divide the separate, uh, demarcate or uh, identify the paragraphs, separators. So separators, separate, separators, or you can say dividers. So paragraph separators or paragraph dividers. So that's it for paragraphs. Yeah. So separators or dividers for paragraphs. So first what we are going to do is we are going to the essay and we are going to separate the paragraphs. Just to put a line or something like that there. So roughly number one. Next number two is separate the questions. Separate the questions. Okay. Now next number two. Separate the questions. Number two. Separators. What I am doing. Mentally, you have to do. You need not, uh, okay, 
draw lines, but mentally you have to make these things. Dividers. Where? Questions. Okay. That is number two. So these points I want later. You can just copy from here and paste it on WhatsApp or whatever. Okay. So, separators and dividers. Okay, fine. So, next one. Third point. Third point is orientation of the questions. Orientation of questions. Orientation of, uh, sorry, not this one. Uh, orientation of the paragraphs. Or you can say numbering. Numbering. Numbering paragraphs. Numbering paragraphs. Numbering paragraphs. Okay. I'm so sorry. I couldn't respond in last days, actually. You're a darling. Good. Yeah. So, next step. So, numbering the paragraphs in the essay. So, let's go to the essay. So, how you will number this one? Just here, I'm putting number one. Okay. Number one. Number one. Just number one. So this is paragraph number one. So just write like that. Paragraph number one. Number two. With bigger, not small, big. You can just mark the left side. Okay. Number two. is a big paragraph. Comparative. Number three is a big paragraph. Wherever you have underlining and all these things, no? you may have two questions. So this is paragraph number three. This is paragraph number four and continue to the next page. And this is paragraph number five. So that means there are six paragraphs, six questions, one question from each paragraph. And then two questions repeated Yeah, sixth paragraph. So that's it. So six paragraphs. Remember this very clearly. Yeah. So like this. Number the paragraphs. Then next go to fourth uh, point. First paragraph, first point is essay, second point is questions, third point is again essay, fourth point is again questions. Okay. So, orientation or pointers or markers, orientation, orientation of what questions. Where is the question showing, taking you? Orientation of the question. Now you can see how to identify the orientation of the question. Okay, so what you can do is, now here in paragraph number one, so this is talking about paragraph number one, say this is orientation. Okay, then next one, in the second paragraph, so it is taking you to second paragraph, according to the third paragraph, so this is taking you to the third paragraph, in the third paragraph, this is taking you to the third paragraph. In the third paragraph, so three questions are there in the third paragraph. That's it. All others, one, one question. So, according to the fourth paragraph, official papers will have like this. Then fifth paragraph, no. In the sixth paragraph, fifth paragraph, no question. So, sixth paragraph. Then, the article emphasizes that in dealing with a difficult patient, it is necessary to, this is the last paragraph, sixth paragraph only then. Because after the sixth, there will be sixth paragraph. Right. So now you can understand here very clearly. Yeah. Now, this is paragraph number one. So one, seventh question will go with the paragraph. Remember that. 
Okay. So this will go with the first paragraph. Right. Good. Next. This will go with the second paragraph. Right. Good. And this will go with the third paragraph. That's excellent. And this will also go with the third paragraph. That's good. And this will also go with the third paragraph. That's good. How much time it will take for you for these things? Nothing. This will go to the fourth paragraph. Just to put, take a pencil and mark. Fut, fut, fut. So fourth paragraph. And this is sixth paragraph. And the last one, after sixth paragraph, so it must also be in the sixth paragraph. Or you have taken overall idea. So maybe sixth or not. So let it be a question mark that we'll see later. Okay. So try to understand this. Yeah. So one, two, two paragraphs, three, three, three. So five. So this is six, seven, and eight in the sixth paragraph. Okay. Now, emphasizes means summary you can take. So, is the concept clear now? So I have given you. So fifth one is numbering relating to the paragraph. So fifth point is questions, relation relationship to the paragraph and write the number that's it so these are the five steps you have to notice then now what you have to do is come go to the question and go to the answer both together so right yeah Jumping into action now. This is the preliminary stage. Now we are going to the questions. Okay. So here, what is the title of this essay? Forgive me. Dealing with the difficult patients. Dealing with Difficult patients. Okay. Reading. Oh, oh. Reading. Part C. Extract one. Lecture. Tips, tricks, techniques. Yes. Dealing with the difficult patients. Dealing with difficult. Patients. Okay. So how to deal with the difficult patients? You have six paragraphs. You have eight questions. Okay. You have six paragraphs. You have eight questions. Okay. So in the third paragraph, you have three questions. And in the sixth paragraph, you have two questions. Remember that. Okay. Dealing with the difficult patients. Yeah. Dealing with difficult patients. That's it. Dealing with difficult 
patients. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, dealing with difficult patients. This is the title. This is the title, remember that. I don't want the people to copy our slides. So this is, you know. Yeah, so this is our topic for the day. Yes, dealing with, yeah, so this is the topic. So dealing with difficult patients, we have six paragraphs, eight questions, and uh, in the third paragraph, we have three questions, and in the last paragraph, we have two questions, and in the fifth paragraph, we don't have any questions at all. Right. So we are starting here. Yeah. This is dealing with difficult patients. Reading workshop. It is not the first time. There are our sessions which run into seven hours also, more than that. So they are there. So don't worry about me. If you have patience, I am with you. Right. Yeah. So here you have the first paragraph, first question and first paragraph. So this is the first question. Okay. This is the first question here. Yes.
Yeah. You have 90 seconds. Yes. So, cannon ball zero seven. Yeah, cannon ball zero zero seven. Yes, submit your answer seven six five four. Three, two, one, submit. Thank you, Keval. You will see war one sided with Grandmaster Plus. Wow. War is one sided with Grandmaster Plus. That's it. Yeah, more difficult to handle. So to handle something means to manage something. Handle the situation, handle the difficult situation means manage the difficult situation. So you should know the meaning of, it's, an, it's a phrase, it's a prepositional phrase we call it. You should know the meanings of these words and the usage of these words. That's very, very essential. Okay. 
that's very very essential now let me take you to cambridge dictionary so this is very important so to handle what do you mean by to handle to handle handle not handle it's to handle okay to handle so handle something okay to deal with to have responsibility or to be in charge okay so c2 vocabulary handle to pick up something okay one minute my dinner has come or what yeah so give me a second okay i'll go and pick up my dinner order has come just give me a second yeah So, yeah, yeah, I came back. I brought my dinner. Yes. Okay. So, let us see the word handle. So, close. handle so get to have a handle so deal with something deal means manage okay so To deal with something means to manage. Okay, to deal with something to means to manage something. To manage difficult handle means to deal with something difficult. So to manage difficult things. Okay, so now how do we get to the root of this one? So that is synonyms. So you will get to the root of this with the synonyms, smart vocabulary related phrases. Okay. So
So here it is. A lot of synonyms here. Hold, grip, handle. Okay, a lot of synonyms are there. You can see this. Different situations, different synonyms you'll be using. Okay, let us go to the beginning of beginning. Now let us see. So handle is a noun. Here our handle is what? A verb or a noun? To handle is a verb. Remember that. So how to identify this particular word? This is noun, so this is not. Okay, so you have to check for verb. So this is verb. Handle means deal with. Handle means deal with, means manage. So that's it. That's so simple as that one. For this one, dealing with things or people. That means managing things or managing people. Okay, so manage. So, these are all synonyms, okay, right, so if you check these synonyms, it will be easy for you in the long run, okay. So, handle means to operate, so this is also verb, handle means operate, C2 vocabulary, it's not ordinary thing, it's C2 vocabulary. Handle something means manage something. Handle, to deal with, to manage. Okay? So remember that. To control, to manage. To manage difficult things or dangerous things. Okay? So that is how you go with this. So to handle is to manage. To handle means to manage. So lift up, to get rid of. To hold in position, to manage, okay? To handle means to manage things, okay? Some patients are more difficult to handle, to be managed. That's the point. It's difficult to manage some patients. That is the meaning. It's difficult to manage some patients like arrogant patients, adamant patients, reluctant patients, okay? That's the point. To handle means to manage. So this is uh, based on vocabulary. The question, vocabulary based question. There is nothing here. Okay. You have to analyze. Okay. To manage. That's the point. Managing some patients because of their behavior or condition. Serious patients. Arrogant patients. Adamant patients. Reluctant patients, such patients are difficult to manage because of their nature, because of their behavior. It is difficult to manage. Others are easy to manage, but these patients who are arrogant, reluctant, adamant patients are difficult to manage. That means managing these patients is very, very difficult. Managing these patients is very, very difficult. Remember that. Okay. So some patients, why? Because of their particular behavior or condition are more difficult, okay? Than others, comparatively with others, difficult to handle, means difficult to lift up, difficult to get rid of. How can you get rid of patients? How can you hold them in position? How can you lift up? So you can manage them with great difficulty. That's it. So it relates to D. So managing, to hand, hand, uh, handling different things, to handle. Difficult to handle means difficult to manage. That's the reason. So it's synonymous. It's extensive meaning. Only Cambridge Dictionary will help you. So just follow Cambridge Dictionary C1 and C2 vocabulary. That's it. Okay.
so comparative some patients are difficult to manage some patients are easy to manage because they are not problematic problematic patients like uh, adamant patient reluctant patient and uh, reluctant patient so such patients are difficult to be managed okay so that's the point here yeah yes that's it to handle means to manage that's it actually you do not need to read the paragraph here to handle okay to handle so means managing that's it handle doesn't mean lift up handle doesn't mean get rid of handle doesn't mean holding position handle means manage something that's it Print the screen. Full screen. The problem now. Okay. It is scanning ball. Zero zero seven. Okay, let it be like that. And the answer, I'll change the picture afterwards. So create four cannonball zero zero seven A B C and D. Yeah. Right. So here, it is vocabulary. Actually, it is logical reasoning approach. Okay, logical reasoning approach is logical. A reasoning approach. So this is uh, based on vocabulary or vocabulary based question you can see. Vocabulary based question. Yes. Right. So this is the copy post link. Yeah. Update your scores. Go and pick. Update scores, please. So, click on the bubble A, B, C, or D, please. Because people will see that one and they will be motivated to do. One plus one. Little drops of sand makes a mighty land. No, not seven by seven. It is one by one. This is different. Nah? This is different round. So, cable, you can say one by one. Yeah, afterwards you can add it together if you are there till the end. So it's one by one. It's a new session altogether. Only that we are continuing the session. Okay. So copy post, copy image. Yeah. So this is the explanation. Okay, now what I have to do is, yeah, without my marking, I have to give the question. I made a mistake, I did not do it earlier. Print the screen. Yeah. Yes. So that's it. Only three students have submitted the answers. Others also can submit, please. Okay. Now we are going to the next question. Okay. 
we are going to the next question yeah so question number 8 question number 8 is here Paragraph number two. Yeah. You have ninety seconds now.
लास्ट थर्टी सेकेंड या तो सबमिट योर आंसर प्लीज तो कैन एंड बॉल ए बी सी एंड डी Yes. Logical reasoning approach. Okay. Grammar. based question this is grammar based question a question b yeah we can just update your scores war is one sided update scores please Updates course, please, please, please. Okay, Simon sir is working for you, right? So much time he is spending for you. Can't you give at least a, uh, ah, uh, the things which small things. Update your scores, please. Yeah, what about the others? Yeah, please. Only three people have clicked on here. Okay, how will you know the answer? Yeah, right. Now let me explain you this question. Yeah. Now let us see. There is nothing in this question actually. Anger so simple as that. Simple, simple, very simple question. Actually, 
this is a stupid question. This is not a question at all. Anger is fueled. Means anger becomes angry, becomes angrier. More than that. More means ER, angrier. So that's so simple as that. There is nothing. This is a nonsense question, actually. Okay. Anger. Fuel means becomes more. Fuel means make more. Fuel means increase the intensity. Anger means angry. Fuel becomes angrier. And intensity is 10 times the angriest. Angry, angrier, angriest. This is degrees of comparison. This is degrees of comparison. Okay. Right? So, it will increase. Fuel means increase. Fuel. Fueling something means increasing. Okay. That again you have to go to Cambridge Dictionary. Let us see. Fuel. Fuel means what? Fuel means verb here. Our fuel is verb. Only fuel the fuel. It will fuel. It may fuel. So it's verb. Think in the verb. Okay. This is noun. No, not name, not noun. And go for verb. So, idiom, add fuel to fire. So, fuel means increase. Noun, no. Fuel verb, yeah, this one. To provide power to something means increase. To provide power to something, fuel means to provide power to something, verb. To supply a system with substance that can be burned to provide heat or power more. Okay. Increase the intensity. Stronger. Make it stronger. Here, comparative degree. To increase means stronger. To increase. To fuel means to increase. To make it stronger. So you should understand this meaning. Okay. To fuel means to make it stronger. So that's so simple as that. If you understand the vocabulary, it will be very easy for you. Okay. Okay. So we don't need to see all those things. Na? Actually, simple thing here. If you are timid or differential, okay, quiet person is different. Shy person, shy. Shy means introvert. He's timid. Timid means what? If you don't know the meaning also, no problem. You don't need to mean know all the meanings, right? You don't need to know all the meanings. One is enough. So here, fuel the anger. It will fuel the anger. It fuel the enmity means increase the enmity. Increase means more. More means comparative degree. Tall, taller. Strong, stronger. Angry, angrier. Fat, fatter, thin, thinner, mad, madder, okay, arrogant, more arrogant, beautiful, more beautiful, handsome, more beautiful, more handsome, so it will be more, or E-R, angry, angrier, smart, smarter, increase is comparative degree, okay, anger is positive degree, fuel anger means, increase the anger means, Angry becomes angrier. Okay. Increase beauty. So more beautiful. Increase. Okay. Hard work. More hard work. So. Increase means more. So comparative. More means comparative. So that's it. Okay. You need not know everything. You need to know something is enough. All the words are not important. Angrier. Angry, angrier, angriest. So positive, comparative, superlative. 
So this is based on grammar. That's what I'm telling. This is not based on vocabulary. This is based on grammar. Okay. This is based on grammar. Positive degree, comparative degree, superlative degree. So remember that. Here grammar plays a key role. Okay. Differential. Differential means different. Okay. Differential means different. Different, normal, abnormal. Okay. Clever, stupid. Okay. Normal, timid. Timid means introvert. He doesn't talk with anybody. Timid fellow, shy fellow. Okay. If you don't know the meaning, there's not a problem here. Timid and differential are not problems here. But fuel is the word which is tested. Anger is fueled. That's the meaning. He becomes angrier. Okay. Hostile. Hostile means not ready to listen. Hostile means not ready to listen. Okay. Hostile means not supportive, not friendly. Okay. Hostile means unfriendly, not cooperative, not supportive. So you should learn these synonyms. Okay. No problem. You don't know the words. You don't know the words. Learn them. Go to the dictionary and learn. Now you want to learn? Go to the dictionary. So that's what I'm telling you, you know. Go to the dictionary and they will help you a lot. Email means what? Chai. That's it. It's C2 vocabulary. So how do you know? You are an ordinary person, ordinary English student. You are not extraordinary English student. C2 means very powerful word. How will you know very powerful word when you are an ordinary learner of English? Okay. Timid is C2 vocabulary. Timid is C2 vocabulary. Okay. You are tested for that maybe. Okay. You tested for C2 vocabulary. So that is C2 vocabulary, you can see. If you click, you will go there. C2 vocabulary, very powerful word. So that's why I put in the Telegram channel now. Everyone will learn what is C2 vocabulary. Differential. What do you mean by differential? Difference between things that are compared. Okay. We have a differential salary structure, means something which is different than normal, means abnormal, not common. A difference, differential adjective we need. Differential adjective, treating different groups of people or things differently. Okay, treating differential means treating different groups of people or things differently. So differential treatment, okay, means not justifiable, not reasonable, unreasonable, okay. Differential, polite and showing respect. There's a different meaning. Okay, this is a different word. Okay. Differential means polite and showing respect. There's a different meaning. Showing respect and admiration. Differential. She is always extremely differential towards anyone in authority. That means she is down, low profile, showing respect to the other person. 
she goes down, down to earth. There's a meaning here. Okay. We are timid and differential. Okay, she is respecting the patient. She is respecting the patient. But the thing is, he will not be ready to accept that. That's the point. So differential is a different meaning. Now, what is this differential? Power of this word. He did not give the word uh, value. So polite and showing respect. That means the uh, patient, the nurse or the doctor is differential, means giving respect to the other person. But the other person is not accepting that. Na? Right. Even though you are expecting him, he will fuel his anger. That's what he's telling. Right. So, Yeah. Yes. So this is a different word total. Differential is a different, totally different word. Okay. Showing respect to authority. That's the meaning. Okay. The next question. Yeah. Third question. Third question. Third paragraph is little bigger.
Yeah, this is the eleventh question. You have ninety seconds for this. Sorry, nine, ten. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Something wrong. Can't say. Eleventh question, no. Should be ninth question. Sorry. Sorry for that. Yes. Ninth question from third paragraph. Yeah. Ninety seconds. Oh. Yeah, this is the 11th question. I kept the 10th question only.
Iya. Yeah. Oh, again. Show. Yes, sorry for that. Yes. So. Canon ball zero zero nine. Yes. You can submit your answer seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Submit. So majority answer is A. Okay.
Yeah. Ninth question. So, copy post link. You can check your answer and then update scores. Yes. Update your scores, please. Next, 10th question. Only the question will change and the paragraph is the same. So 10th question is in the third paragraph. So same. Yeah. So next question. Ninety seconds. Thirty seconds more. Okay. Canon board. I don't think you need to think about too much about this question. Nothing to think. What is an open ended question and what is a closed question? You should know the difference. Okay. Open ended question. And closed end of question. Yeah. Submit your answer. Seven, six, 
5-4-3-2-1 submit. Open-ended question means you can speak as much as you can. Close-ended question means you cannot speak, you are restricted. Open-ended means unrestricted, no limit. You can speak whatever you want. Closed question means unrestricted. Uh, that means you cannot speak. For example, is your name Simon? Yes. No. This is closed question. I cannot speak more. I can say yes or I can say no. But if it is open question, what is your name? My name is Simon. It means, so my first name is Simon and my second name is Peter. And it means, so like, for example, closed question. Closed question. Are you a student? Yes. No. So what is your, what are you doing? I am a teacher and I am teaching English. I teach English to the doctors and nurses. So this is open question. Okay. What is a closed question? What is an open question? That you have to understand. Just don't run after reading the paragraph. First understand the question. Okay. First try to understand the question. Okay. So if you understand the question, it will be very easy for you. Right? So learn how to understand the question. Open-ended question strategy to make the patient speak more. Closed question, limited. What I want, you give information, that's all. Are you a student? Yes. Are you a student? No. So yes, no questions are closed questions. What are you doing? I am a student and I am studying in so-and-so college or I am a doctor and I am working. In... This is open question. Closed question is yes, no question. Are you uncomfortable? Yes. No. Finished. It's closed. It is not open-ended. Okay. I don't think uh, you need to read the passage at all for this particular question. Okay. We don't need uh, we don't need all this nonsense. Here itself is enough. Okay. Here itself is enough. Right? Now see, are you uncomfortable? Are you uncomfortable? So you'll say yes. You can say yes, means right. So you can say no, wrong. Are you uncomfortable? Yes. Are you uncomfortable? No. That's it. Are you uncomfortable? Yes. Are you uncomfortable? No. That means I can say only yes or no. Are you in pain? Yes. Are you in pain? No. Finished. It's a closed question. There are only two answers. Yes and no. Okay. You are upset. You are upset. You must be worried about the treatment, right? No. You are not right. Yes. You are right. So right or wrong? You are upset. You must be worried about the treatment, right? Right. Wrong. So that means these three are ruled out. You seem to be angry. Can you tell me what you are concerned about? I am concerned about headache. I am concerned about irritation. I am concerned about uh, infection. I am concerned about the doctors. I am concerned about many other things. I don't know what to do. What? So there is no limit for this. Can you tell me means you tell me whatever you want. The three questions, yes, no, are limiting. But this is not yes, no question. Can you tell me? It's not a yes, no question. Okay. You seem to be angry. Tell me. Can you tell me what you are concerned about? 
Actually, the question framing is also wrong here. Can you tell me? Yes, I can tell. No, I cannot tell. That's also. But here, actually, it should not be given like that. The question is framed wrongly. You seem to be angry. Please tell me the reason why you are concerned about. Okay. So can you tell me means, can you tell me? Yes, I can tell. No, I cannot tell. The question is not proper, actually. The question, you seem to be angry. Can you tell me? Yes, I can tell you. No, I cannot tell. That's also not right question, actually. The question is framed in the wrong manner, whatever it is. So, can you? Are you? So, are you? Okay. So, they will not help you. So, you should ask in the, this way. Explain or analyze or tell me what you are concerned about. Tell me. Not can you tell me. Can you tell me means yes, I can tell. No, I cannot tell. That's also closed. Open is, please tell me what you are concerned about. This is open and it's question strategy. Not can you tell me. Okay. This is a proxy. It's a confusing. So you should tell me. Tell me what you are concerned about. Tell me. Tell me about yourself. Are you Mr. Simon? Yes. No. This is closed. Tell me about yourself. Then I can tell whatever I want. I am Simon Peter. I am 54. I am a teacher. I teach English. I teach, prepare students to uh, go for OET. I can teach. I can speak anything I want. So hope you understand. Open end sentences means unlimited power is there for you to speak. But closed question means limited power. You can say yes or you can. The other person is directly according to his students. You can say one word or two words. That's all. There is no need for the passage actually here. There is no need for the passage actually here. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. People will not understand. What is this? Everything closed. There is no need of the passage here itself. It is not necessary at all. Okay. Right. So Vinita is there, Rani is there. Okay. Right. Next. Next question. Eleventh question. Eleventh question. Yeah. Paragraph is the same. So update your scores, please. Very good. Two people already scored. Updated even before I tell you. Well, good. You're getting habituated. Yeah.
I don't think you need more time for this one. Submit your answer. So, cannonball. Zero one zero one one. Yeah, war is one sided. Faulty means wrong, wrong means miss. So, should we waste our time for this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cannonball zero one one. What is the option here? Question number eleven. A B C so the answer for 11th question is yeah here it is copy post link yeah update scores please is the question so five out of five or four out of five or three out of five or whatever so tomorrow onwards open sessions will be closed So here we go. There is nothing in this question actually. Okay. Faulty perception. Faulty perception. So, perception means conception. There are two words in this. So simple. I don't think uh, we need to read all this. Okay. Perception means conception. Faulty means miss. That's wrong. Not right. Okay. Misconception means wrong conception. Wrong conception means faulty conception. That's it. Okay. That's it. Is not negative attitude. In the wrong situation, positive attitude is also wrong. So, misconception means wrong conception. Think right about wrong and wrong about right. Both are misconceptions. Okay. So, update your scores. Three more questions to go.
एक्सप्लेनेशन So this is fourth paragraph. Yes, question number 12.
Yes. Right. Now let us see this question. Submit your answer, please. What do you think the answer for this particular question is? 12th one, A, B, C, D. Your explanation is lost. Okay. Eleventh question, right? Yeah. First question is B. So seven, eight. Eleventh question. Next question. Yeah. So majority of you are given B. Okay. Let us check this answer.
question number 12. A, B, C, and D. Yeah, twelfth question. The answer is yeah. So update your scores, please. Dear scores, please. Yeah, the most important students are already here, so no need to worry. Okay, how many questions we are learning is not important. How well we are learning is important. That's it. So question number 13. Thirteenth question. So sixth paragraph. Question number 13. One second. Yeah. 
Yeah, we did not discuss this question, right? So here, it's so simple here actually. According to the fourth paragraph, some patients might feel they are they need specific kinds of food for a particular illness. Food, they need specific kinds of food. Okay. They need specific kinds of food. Because, because it's common, okay? So if you see, hospitals are multicultural environments. Some of the patients may have difficulty understanding. They may also have ideas and concerns, medical practice. For example, one of the questions was to seek is uh, what if we were asked to ask, we may get different answers depending on the cultural background. You can see here, cultural background. One patient gave you medical reason, medical, non-medical reason, other person might feel family to provide his care. And so here you can understand very clearly here. Cultural background. Because of, means depending on, because of means depending on. Okay. Because of means depending on. Because of my, okay, depending on. There's the meaning. Owing to, because of, depending on, all are synonyms. All are synonyms. You have to understand. So that is how you can. Understand the question here. Otherwise, it will be difficult to analyze. Because of means depending on cultural background. You can see very clearly there. Okay. You can see very clearly. Right. Okay. So if you can analyze the points like this, you can understand. Otherwise, it will be difficult. So, specific kinds of food, okay, so food, specific kind of food, specific Kinds of okay, particular illness. Okay, so that's it. Need he okay so might might so one person patient everything is there included. Yeah, this is the 13th question. Which statement reflects the other's opinion about non verbal communication in the sixth paragraph? So, 90 seconds. Yeah.
Yes. So I don't think you need to take too much time for this. Okay. This is the beginning of the sentence itself. Paragraph. Okay. So 13th question. So let us see. What is the answer for this question? Submit your answer. Create poll. A. B. C. And D. So, 13th question. 13th question is, yeah, so this is the option. You can click, copy post link, check your answer, and update scores. Please. So, that is the 7th question. Actually, there is no need for thinking too much about this particular question. It's a stupidity, that's all. So let us see how we are going to analyze non-verbal communication. Okay. Non-verbal communication. Which statement reflects the author's opinion about non-verbal communication? That's what it is. Okay. So non-verbal in this area, which area? In this area, this area, this refers to what? Yeah, reassurance and support. Okay. Reassurance and support cannot be underestimated, means very important. Okay. Crucial means very important. Crucial means very important. Crucial role means very important. It's very important. Cannot be underestimated means it should be taken into consideration means important, crucial. Okay. This area, which area? Reassurance and support, reassurance and support, and, and, okay, for, oh, it is very important, which is very important, okay, nonverbal communication, it is very important, means nonverbal communication. It verbal communication. It means nonverbal communication. Very important. Importance. Reassurance. Reassurance. Support. Support. And end. Crucial. Crucial means very important. Cannot be underestimated means very important. Okay, this area means which area? This area, reassurance and support. This means reassurance and support. Okay. So you have to understand that very clearly. Yeah, last question.
thirteenth question. Next fourteenth question. Last. Yeah. Okay, the question. Yeah. So the article emphasizes that in dealing with difficult patients, it is necessary to. Okay. Let us think about the last paragraph itself. We can update your scores. This is the last paragraph. This article emphasizes that in dealing with difficult patients, it is necessary to consider patient differences, ignore cross-cultural differences, use communication technology, use self-defense techniques. Question number yes, 14. Yeah. 90 seconds.
Yes, last question. Answers. 14th, you have given A. One is one sided. That's good. Yes, let me check. So, question number 14. Question number 14. Copy post link. Update. Scores. Please. Out of eight. This is how we learn at night time. No disturbance, peaceful. Yeah. Now total score out of 14 Total score out of 14, please. Okay. Now, do you want me to continue with the second extract? Shall we continue or tomorrow? Yes. So, this is the last session, open session. Other sessions are for regular students from tomorrow onwards. This is the last session. Only those students who have subscribed can attend the regular sessions from tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, regular students mention those who have registered with the course, regular students they can mention, and those students will be attending from tomorrow onwards. Those who have not registered cannot attend tomorrow onwards. 
So please register and attend the sections on a regular basis. So we'll continue tomorrow. And tomorrow's links will be only for the regular students. I am not tired. I'll be very energetic as night goes on. Yeah, all of you. Yeah, today is the last session. So do you want me to continue? Okay. Or tomorrow. Voting, please. So please give your feedback. Please give your valuable feedback about this particular session. Tomorrow be ready, 8 o'clock. All the regular students who have registered. So I'll get the link. And those who have not registered, you can connect to me. You can talk to me and you can subscribe for the course. Yeah, Vinita, how was the session? Yeah, my sessions are even seven hours. Very long, seven, seven and a half hours also. Full session I used to take. Now the students are not very serious. What to do? Yeah. Vinita. Vinita left. Okay. Rani, how was the session? Very Again. good, sir. <clears throat> so what did you learn and how was it? It was very good, sir. Like we can, uh, uh, like it helps us to the note the key point, and from the paragraph pick up the correct on correct uh, answer, and really helping, sir. Good. Where Just to focus? Minute. Where to not focus? How to eliminate the wrong answers? Help. Yeah. Good. Good. Thank you, uh, Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah, Juliet, if you are interested for regular session, you can subscribe. So tomorrow is the new batch starting. This is a demonstration session, as I have told. So if anybody is interested to get a regular subscription, you can get. Yeah, Juliet. Jasmine. You can share your experience. Jasmine, are you there? Okay, Juliet. Um, honestly, I used to be very, um, I used to have phobia for reading. Like, reading was like my weakest point. But with this section today, I think I'm more confident. Like, I was so surprised with the part C. I got all. And it was so easy. Uh, like, I didn't know it was this easy before. Honestly, this is the first time I'm getting all. And I'm really happy. I'm really happy. At least I'm more confident now. Thank That's you. Good. Yeah, Kewal Shah. Yes, sir. The session was very good. And uh, even my reading was not uh, better before, but now. I'm getting to learn so many things like particularly we don't have to read the full paragraph 
we just have to focus on few lines sometimes even the first few words of the first line and we get the answer also i got to learn about elimination technique which was very helpful and i'm getting most of the answer uh, questions correct even almost all correct so it is very helpful for me yes sakina ahmed sakina so the session was yeah. wonderful uh and during this session i know how to use the strategies to find out the answer and the key point also so it it helped me a lot to find out the answer thank you so much for this uh, session and for your precious time thank you very much yeah so the last question explanation is here let us see this explanation of the last question this article emphasizes means focuses emphasizes emphasizes okay now what do you mean by this emphasizes emphasizes means gives importance okay emphasize means gives importance to in dealing with difficult patients in dealing with difficult patients okay in dealing with difficult patients is it is necessary to what is necessary what is necessary what is necessary what is important necessary means important okay necessary means important necessary means important so it emphasizes the importance okay now let us see all right the importance of reassurance and support for the patient cannot be underestimated that means very important you cannot ignore the importance that is very necessary cannot be underestimated means should be given importance so all the way it is the same thing okay all the while it is the same thing it should be given importance cannot be understood means underestimated means it is very necessary it's very important okay it is very important uh, non verbal communication plays a crucial role crucial means very important means very necessary a warm friendly manner a smile and a touch all can provide the reassurance so desperately needed the important thing to remember the important means again necessary to remember means emphasize is that there are differences among people differences among people okay differences among people now here is the key point you can see they are very clear you can see the key points here very clear okay so if you consider these key points you see remember means remember what do you mean by remember remember means don't forget means always keep in mind means consider differences differences among people means patients okay it is important means necessary so these differences are not good are not in themselves good or bad but these differences will affect people's response to hospitalization and treatment understanding these differences exist and making an effort to accommodate these where possible will go a long way will go a long way in ensuring that medical care is successful so all these words you can see here 
these differences, these individual differences between people. Okay. Dealing with them is not okay. So differences among people. So 14th question. So this is how you are going to relate the words. So consider means think, means give importance. They still remember patient means people. Differences. Okay. So you can see how they are related there. So you cannot ignore. Okay. It's not communication technology. It's not self-defense technique. It's patient differences. So if you understand them, you can deal with the patients very easily. That's what is told. So simple as that. Okay. Yeah. So that is the sixth paragraph. Yes. Print screen. Full screen. So, that's the end of today's session. So, if you are interested, we can continue. But I think you all are tired. But for me, no problem. I'm comfortable. But the thing is, you know, your retention power, okay, is very important. Taking what is already there in the brain, teaching is not difficult for me. But for you, taking more and more, it takes, you know, some, so that's why. That's okay. So, all of you, those who are interested, you can introduce your friends. You can introduce your friends. You can call them. You can uh, ask them to join. You can ask them to subscribe. So, those students who are already my students, you can recommend your friends. That's the only thing. You can bless the institute. Okay? You're not doing favor only to me. You're doing favor to your friends also. Okay, so do your best and if you want to get subscription, you can contact me and I will give you the details and I will take an interview and afterwards I will select if you are really uh, serious, then I am going to help you. So today is the last session for open session, demo session and tomorrow onwards it is a regular session only for regular students. Thank you one and all for making this session great. Good night. Yeah, see you tomorrow.